Hello, my name is Julie and I work at the Central Branch Library. I'm the teen librarian. And today we are going to show you how to do a, make a double pyramid origami uh, piece of art essentially, but it will double as a cell phone cradle. So if you have your smartphone, you can sit it like that. If your hand gets tired of holding it, if you're watching a long video or chatting with a friend. So especially if you're stuck somewhere and you don't have a whole lot of supplies and if you've got a piece of paper, you can do this. All right, so for, if you picked up the packet at the branch, you, we, we included a eight and a half by eight and a half square piece of paper. We made this from a regular eight and a half by 11 sheet of paper. So if you wanna make extra at home, you can just measure eight and a half along the long edge, put a little mark at each end and then draw a line in between the two, cut it off, and you got a square sheet of paper. So we are gonna go ahead and get started. So grab your square sheet of paper, sit it in front of you, and we'll do the first fold. So for the first fold, we're going to fold this bottom edge here to this top edge here. Real easy. Make sure those corners line up, and then crease. And then we're gonna unfold it. And then for your second fold, you're gonna take the right edge and bring it to the left edge. And you're gonna line up your corners there. Make sure those are lined up real good. And then you're gonna crease. And then open that back up. So your crease should be horizontal and vertical going down the center of your paper, making basically like a little window that you used to draw in a house when you were a kid. So for the next step, you're gonna take your right side here, this edge, and you're gonna fold it so it lines up with this center crease right there. So I'm gonna turn the paper a little bit to do it. Line it up real good. And then crease. And you can leave it creased on this one. We're not gonna unfold it. And then you do the same thing to this side. So you're gonna take that left edge and line it up with that crease. And it is pretty important to get it lined up with that crease. There we go. All right. So we end up with basically it looks like a French door or it opens like that. All right. And you have a crease that we made earlier, this little horizontal line going across your rectangle. We're going to use that as our kind of guideline. So we're going to basically make two folds at the top and then two folds at the bottom. So the two folds at the top are going to make diagonals like an X right there in this little square. So I'm going to bring the right corner to this left edge right here of this horizontal crease. So you line that up and you can kind of line up this edge with that crease too. That kind of helps too. And once you got it lined up, just crease it down and then open this one back up again. And don't forget to open up that little flap right there because it wants to stay down. We're gonna do the same thing over here. So we're gonna bring our left corner to that right edge of that center horizontal crease that we made. And then press that flat. Open it up again, don't forget that little tab. And I'm gonna turn it around and I'm gonna do the same thing for the other side. So I'm gonna bring this right corner to again this left center crease edge and you can line up that edge with that center crease too if that helps and then you press it flat and you fold it that didn't quite line up too well let me kind of do that again and we gave you a, sh a few sheets of paper so if you mess up you can always grab another one and do it again i kind of want a better little corner on that there we go. And unfold, unfold that little tab. And same thing here, take that left corner, bring it down to the edge of, or the right edge of that 
center horizontal crease that we had made earlier. All right. There we go. We're going to open it up. And so what you end up having here is a rectangle and all of the crease marks that we just made should basically make a big diamond in the middle and then a couple of triangles on the side. So for the next step, we're going to turn it sideways so that your rectangle goes horizontally. And what we're gonna do, is, this is the part that gets a little more tricky, but this first step should be easy enough. You're gonna take this, so this top little, all the way to the right side, that um, triangle right there that's made with the crease, we're gonna tuck it underneath. So you can kind of open up that flap if you need fold it over like that, press it flat, and fold it right back down. So that was the easy part. All right, so the hard part here is, and I'm hoping you can see this pretty well, if you take your fingers right here on this like half diamond at the edge, and you kind of pinch it up. Okay, so if you see it, you might, not, might have to stick your finger underneath. You're gonna pinch it up. So you're gonna fold this the opposite way and bring these top two corners right here, or rather these side two right corners, closer together. So if you bring them to touch and then reinforce that crease. So I will do this again on the other side if this is not a good angle for you. So this is the most difficult part. So if you hold that piece that you pinched up together in between your fingers, and that piece that you tucked in, you kind of lift it up a little bit and you stick which you got pinched in between or in between your fingers underneath into there. And that is essentially, I'm going to, I'm going to reinforce this crease the other way and you'll be able to see it. You got one part of your pyramid. So, or one of your pyramids. So you're going to do the same thing to the other side. So over here you can kind of open up right here going to tuck that paper in and this is where like sometimes if it doesn't quite line up you got to play with it and make it whoop, go under a little bit there we go make it lie flat and again like I said if it doesn't lie quite like you want it we gave you a few sheets of paper so practice makes perfect do it you know do a few sh do a few practice runs with one sheet of paper, doing it and undoing it, and then grab another sheet of paper that you like and try again and you can get a little better. So again, you're gonna pull that middle line up, pinch those two together and bring those two corners together. And we're gonna reinforce the center line right there. So we're folding it in the opposite direction than we had it folded before. Lift up where we tucked that little corner in and tuck that piece that we pinched up into that. All right, you can kind of straighten it out, flatten this a little bit so it sits more a little nicely and kind of reinforce your little creases here. And then you have, and mine, yeah, you see this side didn't come out quite as good as my other ones, but yeah, it'll probably still work and still be sturdy and will still hold my cell phone. All right. So, and the cool thing about this is it doesn't just have to hold your cell phone. I made a couple of these before I came and you could line them up if you wanted and kind of tape them or glue them down and you could have a little bit of a 3D art project going on if you'd like. All right. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video um, with us today with our little origami pyramid. And if you make one and want to share it with us please definitely you can email it to jbud at ebrpl.com and we will try to post it on social media all right thank you so much